here tonight for Christmas Chaos 2013. And for the first time ever, Christmas Chaos will be shown in its entirety on realityofwrestling.com. We have some huge surprises tonight and an action-packed night of main event action. And uh, hey, the rumors are very, very true. We've read about it on the internet. We've seen it on Twitter. We've heard a lot of people talk about it, but Stevie Ray is here in the building tonight. I can't wait. I can't wait to see Stevie Ray. I can't wait to see Booker. I can't wait to see Charmel. I can't wait to see the action. I'm so excited to be here tonight. Thanks for having me. A pleasure to have you here tonight. And hey, what better way to start things off than with that big announcement by Stevie Ray. At this time, to make a very special announcement, please welcome Stevie Ray! You know, I appreciate the sentiments. And I am here to make a big announcement tonight. And everybody give it up, give it up for OW. They're doing good things for y'all, that's why I'm here. But I cannot make a big announcement without the guy that stood by my side for over 20 years. But me and this guy, have not been seen together in over 10 years. So let's bring out my brother, Booker T. you guys I want to thank you guys for coming out here and making Christmas chaos hate something special I mean look at give yourselves a round of applause but, but guys I mean I've been having goosebumps all week about this thing I've been on edge wondering exactly what this uh, big announcement is all about bro so don't I mean spin it out let the fans know here in ROW what you came to say. Oh! You know, you know, it's been a long time coming. And yes, I had to do it with you looking dead at me. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, my big announcement is Beast music. What's he doing out here? How do I know? You work here. Samoan <laughs> Beast, he's huge. This is not going to go over well with Booker and Stevie Ray. This is an historic moment here in ROW, and the Beast is ruining it. The audacity of this guy. This was history in the making. Booker T and Stevie Edmund in the ring together in 10 years. Wait, wait, wait one minute. Stop right there. Please stop. Now get in. Stop right there. As general manager of ROW, I am telling you to stop 
you are ruining everything. That this is a historic night, Christmas Chaos 8. And I'm telling you to back up, stop ruining. Well, I'd listen, if I were the piece, I wouldn't want to get Sherman upset. You know what? I'm gonna do something I should have done a long time ago, Beast. You're whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, sus. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. You know, uh, R.O.W. seems to need the kind of talent like the Beast. You know, maybe the Beast shouldn't be fired. Maybe the Beast should just walk. That's what I said. Maybe you should just take a walk. Stevie Ritten catching you saving the job of the Samoan Beast. Charmel is furious. You've seen her mad before. I've never seen her this mad. Do you blame her? Not at all. The Beast came down here trying to ruin the whole night. And wisely, he listens to Stevie Ray. Is this how things are around here all the time? Usually not. So you think that's good for family business, Stevie Ray? Yeah, I do. Yeah. You think that was a good move to make, Stevie Ray? Daniel Bryan phenomenon is everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I do. Well, listen, I'll tell you what. Since you think that was such a great idea, how about you be the special enforcer tonight when the beast matches steel? announcement is canceled. What? All these people here tonight. That's why I came. To see Booker T and Steve Rivera the first time together in the ring in over 10 years. That was ridiculous. What kind of operation are you running here, Booker? What kind of operation are you running? I'm here. I did not come here to not find out what this announcement was about. I'm telling you, I came all the way from South Texas to be here tonight. I want to find out from Stevie Ray exactly what's going on. Stevie! 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 Come here! Come here, buddy. Would you like to join us on commentary, please? Could you please join us on commentary here tonight? Yeah. Let yourself cool down a little bit. I'd like you to join us on commentary so we try to figure out what's going on. I didn't come here to work tonight. I came here to make an announcement. I understand that, but now perhaps if you join us on commentary, we can hear that announcement. Yeah. So Stevie Ray joining us here on on commentary and uh, Michael Cole putting your uh, your former reporter's hat on here tonight. Yes, I mean, you had to. Again, I didn't come down here tonight. I hear what Stevie Ray had to say. I've been looking at this for a... Uh, for a long time he'll be here and Stevie's been talking about this all week long. Booker's been talking about it on Twitter. And I know all these great fans showing up here tonight to hear what's going on. Challengers here tonight. The Walker is getting set to take on Aiden Cristiano and X for the ROW Tag Team titles. But again, Stevie Ray is here. Michael Cole, go to work. What was the announcement? As you heard from Sean Mel, my announcement was canceled. But what you have to understand, I'm not here to ruffle feathers. Between me and you, I'm only here as a consultant. A consultant? Yes. A consultant for who? A 
a consultant for R.O.W. is a hotbed for young talent. And I am a great evaluator of young talent. Let me get this straight here, Stevie. You're here to, to evaluate talent from R.O.W. I'm here to check out talent. And you're also a consultant, so I'm going to ask you the question again, and I don't mean to cry, but who are you consulting for? What you have to understand, in my line of work that I have recently taken upon myself to do, a lot of young professional wrestlers, like myself some 25, 26 years ago, was a young talent. And I needed to be consult. If I had had the kind of consulting ability that I have for myself that I could give to young people, I would have been better off as a professional wrestler trying to get in this business. So are you saying that perhaps you would be better off uh, working with some of these uh, young talent than the current trainers at ROW are? What I'm saying is that I think a lot of young talent needs to be consulted in different ways today because this game has changed so much over the last 10, 15, 20 years, as you well know. You should uh, run for political office because you do a great job of avoiding the questions. Championships are on the line. And uh, the Lockhart's getting things started right off the bat here. There's a lot of hatred between these two teams. Oh, nice move. So, Stevie, which of uh, these teams are you particularly looking at here tonight? That is why I am evaluating Michael. We should evaluate the, uh, the young lady at ringside. Double clothesline sends Cristiano out hard down to the mat. And now X in the ring as the locker is challenging here for the ROW Tag Team title. So what is X's deal with the mask and the vest? We don't know a whole lot about it. He just kind of uh, kind of popped up here and inserted himself into Team International. And when he came into this tag team, when he came into this group, uh, that's really when Team International started well, taking their antics to a new level. I like these lock cards, Stevie. Work pretty well as a team, brothers. You know, these Lockhart seem to be uh, seem to be a good young tag team. Got a lot of got a lot of speed in that ring, but I think they like just one single solitary thing. And what would that be? Focus. And perhaps you would be able to give them focus. Perhaps someone may be able to give them focus. Me, I'm not so sure. Well, with that being said, you know what it takes to get along as brothers uh, in the wrestling ring as a tag team. You and Booker, uh, uh, probably the most successful brother tag team in the history of sports entertainment. Well, Michael, I wasn't aware that they were brothers. Good shoulder tackle there by Eric Lockhart. Now, does that intrigue you more that you found out they're brothers now? No, I was just uh, pretty much answering your question. <laughs> you are very evasive tonight. I'm, I don't mean to be evasive. I'm actually just sitting here, Michael, trying to be a professional, if you don't mind. Okay, let me ask you then about the actions of Charmel earlier tonight. Did that tick you off a bit? Did it, uh, did it make you a bit angry the way that she treated you in your big reunion with Booker tonight? I wouldn't say I was ang angry, but I would say I was slightly disappointed. Now you've known, obviously, Charmel for a long time, but yep. what did you uh, make of her? what happened with, with her and Stevie here tonight? Well, I thought it was interesting that she said family business. I mean, obviously, two brothers, the wife, I mean, that, that creates a very interesting dynamic. Not a dynamic that I know that I want to be in the middle of right now, to be honest with you. That's Andrew Lockhart in the ring now as Cristiano able to kick out of the pinfall attempt at two. How do you tell the Lockhart's apart? It's tough. It's tough. Usually by the uh, the headbands. So that's when I say focus. When I what you should use that to your advantage. 
a real tag team would use that to their advantage. And if they don't use that to their advantage, this is what happens to them, like you see happening right now. A barrage of punishment. Now the Lockhart's natives up in Wisconsin trained under Greg Gagne before being recommended to come here and train under Booker T at WXF. Um, I'm sorry, uh, did you say these guys were trained under Greg Gagne? Yes. Well, that explains it. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, so, would you ever think uh, Stevie Ray Excuse moving into the, uh, the training realm? Excuse me? Would you ever think of moving into the training realm, perhaps taking one of these young teams under your wing? Like I said, Michael, and I will, I'll say it again since you don't seem to get it. I'm in the consulting business. <laughs> I've started a consulting company. But that could mean any number of things. I mean, consulting is just a, a big word that could describe a many different things to the business. True. What action we have here in the ring with the Lockharts? And ain't it Cristiano and X? Oh, there we go. It's on the line. Good crossbody there. The pinfall. Cristiano kicking out of two. Now, look at this. You didn't like the showboating. No, at all. Not at all. You and Booker never showboated, did you? No. Oh, that's good. I like that. I liked it. Yes. Cristiano hooks the leg. And that that's right. Out. If that had been me or my brother in the day, this guy would have cracked ribs and Life Flight would be picking him up. <laughs> a helicopter, not an ambulance. You have a stock in Life Flight? You know, Michael, I'm, I'm starting to believe that you're actually being sarcastic. With no, not at all. Not me. It's not my, uh, my MO. You got to realize I watch you on television on a weekly uh, basis. Oh, and all of that. Does. Good move. <laughs> Good move. That was a great move. Cristiano drags him to the center of the ring. And Eric Lockhart able to kick out of two. Andrew just dying to get in. Reaching over the ropes, looking for that tag. But so far, Team International has a nice job of forcing Eric Lockhart to the other half of the ring. So, Stevie, what do the Lockharts have to do at this point in time? Try to get out of this mess. Like I said, these, these guys lack focus. Me and my brother have been in the ring. Uh-oh. Come finally, on. Come Finally, well, did he make the tag or not? Well, he made the tag, but I don't think the referee... I didn't won. see a tag, actually. And now the referee distracted... Team I didn't see a tag. Team International just going to work on Eric Lockhart. How can you be a consultant, but you didn't see that tag? I'm, I'm not saying he didn't make the tag. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Eric ducks the pose line oh! and comes back with a double pose line of his own. All three competitors in the ring now down. Eric Lockhart trying to find the energy. Does he know where he is in the ring? Well, he better find out quick. <laughs> Eric Lockhart staggered and finally makes the pass. Here comes Andrew over the top rope like a house of fire into Cristiano. Now diving into X. Yes. Look at the flying clothesline. Good move. Ooh. Another clothesline sends X down to the back. You may have to change the team you're scouting, Stevie. Oh, look at that flying kick. Oh, come on. <laughs> you don't like the showboating. I mean, these guys are the epitome of a Greg Gunya trained tag team. Which I oh, think... Oh, look at that reversal. Big reversal, there's... Now Andrew hooks the leg, and Cristiano able to break up the pinfall. Great action. What a way to start have to give you that. tonight at Christmas Chaos. of Aiden Cristiano is now staggered. Look at that! Look at that big fly kick! Hooks the leg! And oh. again, X able to break up the pitch. Great ball. save! Referee's got to get control of this mess. Oh. Oh. I'm also a consultant in the officiating realm of things also. Oh, you are. Maybe you should tell this official to do something about that handlebar mustache. <laughs> that is his name, his stats. Don't be so disrespectful. <laughs> to the official? Oh, that's how you never did in your career. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> you always play by the rules. I yes. forgot about that. So Raymond yes. getting yourself involved in the match. And Cristiano now coming back. This could be it right here. Hey, look oh, at that. oh yes. Breaker. That's going to be all. Yes. Hooks the leg. 
Greg. Yes! And that is in Team International. These guys have a future. Retain the ROW Tag Team Championships. Tag Team Champions. Like I said, when you are a tag team, you must take advantage of every single solitary thing that you have, that you see, that you can get your hands on sometime because those belts mean everything when you're a champion, and you know I know about that. Of course, you're one of the greatest of all time. As long as you got the gold, baby, you are a somebody. WCW champion and WWE Hall of Famer. If you're thinking about getting into the wrestling business or just jumping into sports entertainment, if so, come check out my school, WXF, right here in Houston, Texas, 9189 Winkler Street. Here at WXF, we do it all. From referees to managers to announcers to wrestlers. Here, you get a full experience. WXF has a full workout facility. Here, we work out in the ring as well as out of the ring. Make sure you check out my show on YouTube, The Reality of Wrestling. That's at The Booker T R O W. That's The Booker T R O W. And if you're really serious, go to realityofwrestling.com and get the real scoop and see what's really going down. See if you got what it takes to make it. Now can you dig that, sucker? series between Mysterious Q and Rufus Ryan Davidson. Davidson, the winner last month. He got a little bit of help from the Samoan Beast last month. The Beast came out and, and suckered Mysterious Q from behind, and that allowed Ryan Davidson to take the first match out of this best of five series. I'm, to be honest, I'm not familiar with a lot of the goings on that are going on tonight as far as the history of a lot of the wrestlers. But I see this one is smoking right from the beginning. And Mysterious Q getting the early advantage here. Big elbow. Well, you, you obviously know something Davidson. about some of these guys. You wouldn't be here trying to consult and scout for your new business. I know you're trying to play coy and you're trying to play this I don't know what's going on card and all this other stuff, but I just don't buy it, Stevie. You're here for a reason. You know about this talent. You know what's going on out here. You know about every one of these guys, and you're playing it off on TV like you don't know anything about them. I, I, I don't buy that. I never said that I didn't know anything about anybody. I didn't, I didn't say that. You just did. You no, said, I yes, did not. Did. That's the way you interpret it. It is a big difference. Okay. Are you sure he's not running for office? That's what I'm has. saying. I mean, he's a politician. Unbelievable. 
You can run for mayor of Houston. Firstly, the mayor of Houston is doing a very good job. And yes, she is. Just re-elected, actually. There you go, baby. So why does this one guy wear a mask, uh, Mysterious Q? Because he's mysterious. Right? I mean, do you think it's a good idea for a wrestler to go out there, Stevie, and wear a mask? You know, in the history of professional wrestling, there have been a plethora of wrestlers that wore masks that were very, very successful. You know that. No, I, I do know that, but I'm just saying that as a consultant, would you consult or give advice to someone to wear a mask or not to wear a mask in the ring? What I would give this guy in for his consulting would go. Ooh! The kind of consulting I would give him, that right there would have never happened to him. Mysterious mask, Q, a new mask. Mysterious Q bringing a kind of a fusion style between a, a, a luchador, and obviously most luchadors, not six feet tall. He's able to bring the size of a, of a bigger wrestler into the ring. It's now Davidson goes for the cover, and Q able to kick out a two. You know, the, the lucha style can be implemented into several other styles, whether you know that or not. So this guy would be a prime candidate for your new team, perhaps. I never said anything about accumulating certain people to make up a team. I'm just trying to get you to slip a little bit. Yeah, I see. You have your cover story down pat. Working off your talking points I'm tonight. I'm just a consultant, Michael. Oh! Good move. I, I like this Davidson I guy. I like this Davidson guy, too. Goes for the cover right near the ropes. Got to hook the leg. Able to kick out, so you would consult him to always hook the leg. I don't think that needs to be consulted. Whoever trained him can tell him that. I believe your brother trained him. With all due respect. <laughs> so, would you say that you would be a better trainer than your brother? I know. I'm just asking no, a no, question. Probably not. No, okay. no I wouldn't be. Don't because my don't brother... Get all hot, my, I, I didn't just get hot. No, I'm, I'm just... Backdrop by My Davidson. brother tolerates a lot more things than I do. That's why he would be a better trainer. That right. I would not tolerate. Right here, Davidson hooks the leg again. Q able to kick out. What is it? What is up with your, your referees and their facial hair in, at ROW? It said, Everybody's yeah. got a beard or a mustache. Stash, stash and beard. I don't know. <laughs> Mysterious Dive out of the way, and there goes Ryan Davidson to the outside. Obviously an opportunity here for Q to get back into this match as Davidson had been in firm control. Guy went for the coup de grace and nobody was home. The referee up to the three count as Davidson trying to shake off the cobwebs outside. I have to, I, I have to respect him for that. Get the guy out of there as fast as possible. And he did. And we don't work by the hour. Another good uh, consulting uh, pointer. Don't yes. work by the hour. No. He ducks the floor yeah, line. quick. As quick as possible. Davidson, good reversal. Q reverses that and all. Look oh. at the power by Mysterious Q with the bridge. Can he get it? Oh. No. Davidson kicking out. Reversal by Davidson. There he goes, charging again, and up and over goes Q, and a big kick into the gut. <laughs> Mysterious Q again, showing that the power that he has. And wow, look at that! Oh. Out of nowhere, Mysterious Q hooks the leg. Oh, and again, Davidson able to power out. We've not seen Mysterious Q show those type of powerful moves before. Is Mysterious Q Hispanic? I don't believe he is. You know, I've never seen him without his mask on, to be honest. Okay, I was just, just wondering. He's powerful. That's questionable. He just looked at that guy on his feet and dropped him down two times. Q tried to go for the Q cutter. Davidson was able to push out, but Q with a good drop kick. And now Davidson. There you go. Trying to reverse and send him up over the top. Q caught himself. Big kick. Davidson setting up Q. Oh, oh yes. Corks yes. neck breaker off the second row. That could be all. And Q just able to get the last got some fight second. in him. Absolutely. 
And Davidson, look at his face. Cannot believe that somehow Mysterious Q is still in I this I can't match. believe it either. Oh, Stevie, on. if you were consulting, what would you tell Mysterious Q here? If I was consulting him? Yes. Well, I had to tell him I would have told him before he got in the ring. Fair enough. So what would you have told him before he got in the ring? I would have to scout his opponent first. Elusive? Ah, yeah, of course. I don't expect a straight answer. <laughs> I just keep asking her questions, though. That was a straight answer. <laughs> you know, and I don't appreciate you going there as if I'm trying to be apprehensive. Well, we asked you, that. listen, we asked... Oh, man! Here with the 450 splash! Hooks the leg, and that is all! Mysterious Q! You know, I think I've, I think I've, uh, I think I've seen enough. I think I've seen enough. The first two matches were enough. And I appreciate you guys asking me to do a little commentary with you. Well, thanks for trying to answer our questions. Yeah. I do appreciate that. I think I did. Thank you very much, Stevie. the best Stevie. of my ability. Stevie Ray, an honor having you here tonight. And we're at least happy that we were able to find out your announcement after the fact. Is, uh, oh, Mr. Cole, bringing your broadcast journalist experience. And all of you will be back later on. It's a special I did enforcer. get a chance to tell people about my consulting venture, but I'm letting you guys in on it first. How's well, that? Well, thank you very much, Stevie. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. We appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. Scoop. Thank you. And I got to get out of here. I got to head to Houston for TLC. Michael Cole, pleasure to have you thank here you. tonight. We appreciate it. I and appreciate hopefully we'll it. see you again soon. Thank you very much. RLW Christmas Chaos 8 continues here tonight. Stay with us. Lots more action coming up, including Abel Andrew Jackson taking on Shelton Benjamin, the Samoan Beast against Jared Steele. And our big main event with the ROW Championship on the line when the Pride takes on Gustavo Mendoza. Stay with us. Christmas Chaos continues after this. Look, this is America. This is Christmas. Of course. We have to pull this together for ROW. Okay? We have to pull this together for everyone, for the right. betterment of the ROWs. Okay, all right. Alright, come on. Alright. 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 Better watch out, you better not cry, you better not cry, you better not cry, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, hey, it's a real, hey, let me try to get it, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, you're not gonna get it right. You're not gonna get in the Christmas spirit. Just get the hell out. I'll find somebody, I'll find somebody who can do it, all right? Just get out. I like what you're doing. Bobo knows. It was wrong. Take it out. I like what you were doing. Merry Christmas, same thing. Y'all ruined Christmas. Who could I find? You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus coming to town, Santa Claus coming to town, Santa Claus is coming to town. Woo! Dojo Productions, the Houston area's best source for green screen compositing and non-linear editing. Motion graphics, virtual studios and 3D environments. Video, audio, photo and web. Follow us online or call today at 713-478-0048. That's 713-478-0048. Christmas chaos continues here tonight. Anthony Pratt alongside Adrian Jones back in the uh, the seat to my right. Happy to have you back. We want to say thank you, of course, to Stevie Ray and to Michael Cole for joining us here tonight. Adrian, you never know who might show up here at an RW event. You never ever know. The more surprise guests come in the show.
us out. I am Gustavo Mendoza, the leader of Team International, and your ROW heavyweight champion. Tonight, I defend my ROW heavyweight title against Chris. <laughs> See what you did there. You went to him to get this match, and that was his mistake. And this is yours. Because last time, I broke your arm. Tonight I break your spirit. Because you will not take my gold. But I take your pride. Are we, we back? back? I mean, I... How many times can this happen? I thought that we took care of this. Booker, I don't And this is the flagship show. I'm tired of it happening. This is the flagship show of, of what we're doing all year. We work towards Christmas chaos, and they continue to screw with the feed. I mean, we, you know, we, we, you get Michael Cole, you get Stevie Ray here, and, and, and team It's Jeanette. embarrassing, man. It's uh, frustrating. We, guys, we're back? Are we back? Okay, got it. All right. It, I, I, I heard a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I believe we're back. Right now, we're going to send it down to the ring. We have a, a very special announcement and a very special unveiling here tonight. Let's send it down to the ring. themselves here right now, starting with you. Un momento, okay? Diamonds. You've rolled out the red carpet for these pebbles and all the stars backstage. But there isn't anyone that knows about red carpets and golden globes than cinema. If you're looking for a star, I am not only the best, I shine the brightest. I am a diamond. And you all, you're just rough. Uh, Adrian, what's going on here at the uh, Diamonds Division being introduced at RFW? Well, Look who's made and his or her way out is Kelly Kevin. And every diamond has some facets, and this is probably one of the most brilliant a diamond here in the ROW, Kelly Kevin. Uh-huh. Oh! <laughs> oh! 
Oh, Cinema looks disgusting. Oh. Look at Ke Look at Kelly Kevin. Oh! Look at that, the big kick. Where the sun don't shine. Referee saw that. A low blow. Now, Cinema. I don't know how you say you're so beautiful and so talented and so good because I got it from authority from a certain fat man up north that you haven't been a good girl. You've been a naughty girl. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, oh it's getting physical. It's getting physical. Cinema and Kelly Kevin rolling around in the ring. And this is a, oh, is this a cat fight? What is this? Oh, man, this is awesome. This is beautiful. I wish I was Kelly Kevin. Oh, oh, look at that. Cinema coming back with the big elbows to the chest of Kevin. And, and look at the other diamonds just kind of standing back. Oh, a big chop by Kevin or Kelly. Or, there you go. KK. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that a weave? Oh. I think, it, I think that's a weave. That is, that is Indian hair. Oh, no! Right where the sun doesn't shine, Kelly Kevin. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hey, he's wearing a cup! Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do this it. Is a, Don't do it. Oh. <laughs> that is disgusting! Oh, oh no. Hey, oh. dude, I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Was that cup for his protection or ours? Oh, oh my God. And all the diamonds rallying around Kelly Kevin. You never know what's gonna happen here on ROW. Don't go anywhere, we still have tons of action coming up here tonight on Christmas Chaos 8. When Abel Andrew Jackson takes on Shelton Benjamin. Don't go anywhere. Shelton Benjamin and I'll tell you what these two guys have been going back and forth on Twitter Abel Andrew Jackson you saw his his promo his state of the ROW address on realityofwrestling.com and well, Shelton Benjamin took offense to that well what Abel Andrew Jackson is doing is, is simply politicking uh, to the highest degree possible and you know he's gone so far He's thrown jabs at the general manager, Charmel, before. Now he's taking it right to the owner, Booker T. Kind of insulting the in intelligence and the integrity. And, uh, you know, it's things have got to come to an end, and they're going to come to an end right now. for Shelton Benjamin for the ROW faithful here tonight. Shelton Benjamin, a three-time intercontinental champion, has beaten some of the best names in the business. You think of Chris Jericho, Ric Flair, Rob Van Dam. Hey. Shelton Benjamin has beaten all of them. Yeah, definitely. I, yeah, I think Abel has something to do with those stair steps. But when, when you bring Shelton Benjamin in, and this just kind of proves to you that people all over the world, you never know who's watching ROW, who's keeping up with ROW. And you know, we talked to Shelton backstage. He's a big fan of the show. Whoa, whoa! All right, Abel Andrew Jackson suckering Shelton Benjamin even before the bell. Just trying to get him those early shots. Yeah. 
And as I was trying to say, we're talking with Sheldon in the back. He's a big fan. He's, loves watching R.O.W., but again, just really got tired of what Abel's been spouting off for the last few months. Took it upon himself to answer the challenge and hopefully shut Abel up. And as I mentioned, the state of R.O.W. address by Abel Andrew Jackson on realityofwrestling.com. He criticized Booker T for bringing in Stevie Ray, for bringing in Shelton Benjamin. Said if anybody had a problem to address him directly, and well, Benjamin did address him directly, yep. as did Booker T. Shelton responding on Twitter, sounds like the change this locker room politician, Abel Andrew Jackson, is looking for is to go from able to disabled. <laughs> I love Hope it. he has Obamacare. <laughs> and then Booker T tweeting, also let me be the first to say that I can't wait to see Shelton Benjamin whoop at vote AAJ and then we can both take a selfie over his KO'd <laughs> ass. I, I didn't think that was in the vocabulary selfie, but you know, we've talked about how much, you know, him and I have gone back. I've, I've followed his career. And again, I, you know, this whole attitude, this whole mindset, this whole shift, I mean, it just doesn't become him. Yeah, he's racking up wins, but it's, oh, you tried to go for a swing ball. Yeah, early on here in the match, and Shelton Benjamin comes back with a big clothesline. You know, when I say try to pick his opponents, try to get easy wins, and that's not going to happen tonight right. right now in the middle of the ring. Jackson with a big shot to the face of Benjamin. A little staggered here early on in the match, but, oh, hold on. Hold on, not so fast, Abel, not so fast. <laughs> Look at him. He, he's not going to hand pick, pick his opponents oh. anymore. This is what you asked for, Abel. This is what you're going to get. Fireworks exploding in the center of the ring as now Shelton Benjamin stages his comeback against Abel Andrew Jackson off the ropes and a big clothesline. Sends him again with a slingshot. And oh, look at that! Oh. I think Abel Andrew Jackson just went 15 feet up in the air, Adrian. He, he wishes his poles were that high. Oh my God! Shelton Benjamin firing up the crowd here at ROW. An international superstar. This guy has been all over the world. Shelton Benjamin. Currently a star in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And now Abel Andrew Jackson climbing to the top rope. And uh -oh, oh, the athleticism. Oh. It's over. He's signaling. He's signaling to the crowd. He's looking for Peter. Abel Andrew Jackson. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Staggering around. Yeah. And that's it. That is it. Peter. Abel's been impeached. Shelton Benjamin with the win here tonight at Christmas Chaos 8. Merry Christmas, Abel and Andrew Jackson. Benjamin. Merry Christmas. Still lots to get to tonight. The Usos are here. The Boogeyman will be in action. And Stevie Ray will be the guest enforcer as the Samoan Beast and Jared Steele settle their score. Plus, the much-anticipated main event as Gustavo Mendoza defends the ROW title against the Pride. All that and more coming up on Christmas Chaos 8. Stay with us.